Hello! Today I'm gonna show you how I made this card. It's a horsey card with a little bit of bling bling. As you can see, onnittelut means congratulations. And this card I made for my boyfriend's mother. She has a horse and she likes horses. She likes dogs as well. She has two dogs. But she recently bought a horse, so she's really into horse right now. And uh, her horse is brown. It looks a bit like that one, I think, or maybe that. It's a brown horse. I'm not that very good with horses, so they all kind of look the same to me, but I'm more into dogs. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how to make this card. Actually, I made it a little bit wrong. I wanted to make a card that you could open, but I accidentally went and cut out this one and forgot that I need double side because I'm gonna make it so you can open it and close. So that's just my stupid mistake. But I thought, okay, okay, let's make just a simple card then. I took some, this is kind of yellowish paper, or like peach, very, very light peach color. And I put it in my uh, big shot using one of these cuddle bug folders. It fitted right in here, so I'm not sure how big it is. I just usually freehandedly cut out papers, but it fits right into my cuddle bug the impression folder and I put it through my big shot and then I used the brayer and some tea dye and put colors on it and then you will see this embossed side and also the debossed side. I'm not sure which is embossed and which is debossed. I think this is the debossed one but I liked it more because it was more color and this one has less color. So anyway, I just brayered on some tea dye uh, by Distress Ink tea dye. And that's how I got this background. And it feels nice. It feels like a door, barn door or something. It feels like wood something. It, it's pretty cool. This horse picture was actually from a, from a, a big piece of scrap paper. Which had a lot of which which had a lot of horses on it, so I just cut out this picture, designer paper, so this uh, designer paper, not scrapbook paper. Oh, you could have it for scrapbooks. Anyway, it was a designer paper, and I just cut out the horses and I put first some tea dye, with one of these, and then I put uh, distress ink tea dye. And on the outer side, I put distress ink vintage photo, and then I just glue it on here with my uh, advanced tape lighter and this on it a lot is a stamp that I stamped and I cut it out with scissors that looks like uh, what, postmarks are they called postmarks post stamps post stamps you know those things you put on the envelopes so it looks like that and then I wanted and then I glue it on to some brown paper brown cardstock that I also put the corners, I distressed the corners with vintage photo. But then I thought it would look too simple, so I wanted some bling bling to it. So actually, those bling blings are nail, nail rhinestones. I bought them from eBay. It's cheaper from eBay than in Finnish so shops. I got about 10,000 small rhinestones for seven euros. And that was including the shipping. So I put them in these small yards. And these yards I bought from Coastal Scents in America, actually. <laughs> so I had them shipped over to Finland. I thought it was really cute with pink lids. So I have a few of them. And then I just one by one took with a toothpick. I put a little bit of... Uh, uh, not glue. Well, it is a glue. It's called... Um, glossy accent, yeah, a little bit of glossy accent on the sides here and I put with a toothpick and just put one by one by one. So that's how I got them and they really stick well. So if you're gonna use this I recommend using glossy accent as a glue because it will dry clear. 
so you will not see any messy spots you will just see the bling bling that you want and these are i think they are 1.5 millimeters so they are really small i don't know how much inches that is but 1.5 millimeters and uh, they are meant for nails but i use them for crafting as well so that's pretty much how i did that and i put on this greeting with dimensional as you can see so it pops out a little bit then I put some eyelets here and this ribbon and then I just put a bow here and the same thing on the back side it continues so it's like a ribbon on the ribbon continues and I put the bow here and the same thing here this is just it was white paper I cut out with Fiskars it called decal decal I don't know what decal means, but it looks like it's been ripped by hand or it's really not straight, it's really crooked cut. So that's how I got this and then I put, took this uh, applicator, it had tea dye on it and I just smeared it on so it, it became a little bit brownish and then on the corners, or actually not the corners, the sides I put on with Mm. Oh, it's too late here in Finland. I'm forgetting words again. I put on with Distress Ink Vintage Photo. So that's why the sides are a little bit darker. And I'm gonna write my greeting here. And that's my little... You can see actually by here that this is actually embossed because my sticker it's all wavy. And it feels nice, I think. It's, it's kind of cool. I really like Cuttlebugs folders because they do nice deep impressions. So I recommend them if you have a big shot Try out Cuttlebug Embossing folders. They are great And that's pretty much how it is. It's pretty simple card for those who like horses um, Yeah, but it's still kind of cute with a little bit of bling bling there so that's the card for her and uh, Hope you like it and if you have questions please let me know. Thank you for watching. See ya. Bye bye.